All right, let's go for it. Throttle only, 250 watts. This is for all the Karens. What is going on, guys? So today I am building a legal e-bike. I really care about my subscribers and I get a lot of comments from people saying they hate the channel. Why do I build bikes that are illegal? You can't use that on the road. I care about my subscribers, so I bought a 250 watt hub motor. So maybe it's time in life that I should be sensible. However, I've also got a selection of batteries and I'm gonna fill it with a 48 volt instead of a 36, because f you. Just to annoy the, the Karens. So technically, this is a legal, illegal 250 watt build, just to get under the skin of all the Karens and to show you, one, that 250 watts isn't that bad if you throw a bit more power at it, Secondly, to annoy all the uh, mid-drive enthusiasts that are always unsprung weight and all that kind of shit. These don't really weigh much more than a standard wheel. So, you know, I think it's killing two birds in one stone. It's annoying the mid-drive Karens and it should just, you know, annoy the average Karen. Right, guys, so, so the bike I use in the intro, I know people are going to notice in the comments I actually started building the wrong bike. I've got four bikes to build this next couple of months. Anyway, this was a 1x10 speed and I thought this would be awesome. It's got like lockout remote forks and all sorts on this bike. It's pretty good for an entry level. I know it's sort of budget-ish. But yeah, anyway, it's a 1x10 speed. Um, so I'm actually, instead of going to the bike shop, as everyone moans in the comments, I'm actually having a crack at tightening the cassette myself. Fantastic job. <laughs> So, just got to get that brake disc on, and we are good to go. Why is it every time I change a slightly used disc, there's always one that rounds off? Every time. I tried two different Allen keys on it, and now I'm resulting to the big boy. <laughs> you fucker. Look at that, not even damaged the old. Well guys, welcome back to Nothing Ever Goes Fucking Right For Me, part two. So, this did not fit with the holes that are in it. It's, the holes are up there. I just don't get why some manufacturers just do holes completely in a place where you're not gonna have cycle bottle mount holders. Anyway, long story short, I've drilled my own holes in this piece, which fits inside here. And, it's only got them fucking work, doesn't it? Look at this. So it's probably even, it's probably secured even better than the standard holes. Because instead of having a flimsy little piece like this, I've got a really solid base to fit that to. And then this, I'm such a genius. My genius that knows no bounds. That goes on there. Three screws go in there. Battery goes here. So it's fully built. I couldn't be bothered to video the process to be fair. I've got 30 other videos on my channel showing the build process. I just wanted to crack on with this one. It turned out to be a massive pain in the ass some of the components on this, but it's all good now. It's built. It's fully done. I haven't even ridden it yet. It has got zero miles distance on the clock. We're gonna take it out for a quick test run. The weather as you can see is shocking, the floor's soaking wet, it's raining. But let's just take it out and see whether it's worked, whether it goes faster than 15.5 miles an hour. All right, let's go for it. Throttle only, 250 watts. This is for all the Karens. Let's see what a 250 watt hub can do. Straight road, no pedaling. 21, 22, 23, 24. It's a beast, 26. 27, 29, 30, 30, 31, slightly downhill now. I'm going to call that 30 miles an hour. All you Karens going to lap it up in the comments now. 250 watt legal hub does 31 miles an hour. Right guys, what's happening? So this build is done. Honestly, I've never had a build be so much of a pain in the arse. There were so many little things I had to do, drilling holes and parts and just like fabricating random things. 
Anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong in this build, but I am so happy with how it's turned out. It's, yeah, I mean, if we're talking like UK law at the moment, like everyone knows it's 15.5, however, people can cycle bikes all day long at 30 mile an hour, and I know a lot of people are kind of, think the law's a bit stupid really. I mean, the bike goes slower than you can pedal a bike, which doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't agree either with the uh, pedal assist law because on cheap hub kits without torque sensing, pedal assist is just sketchy as fuck. It is really just not good. If, you, if you're going like making a small U-turn with a cheap pedal assist kit and you just go to like turn and pedal a little bit, the amount of times it just wants to like shoot off. There's no, you know, there's no... There's no ramp up to the amount of power it gives you. When you're trying to do little delicate turns, like a U-turn on a path or a tight bend, pedal assist is just outright fucking dangerous, in my opinion. On, on, a, on a cheap hub kit, the pedal assist to me is not worth shit. It's just pants. So anyway, this is my take on a perfect 250 watt bike. I mean, I based it on a bike that's probably, you know, people are going to be like, oh, Barracuda, it's not like exactly the most renowned brand in the world but it's actually pretty decent i've got remote lockout on the bars pretty reasonable set of forks it's actually a pretty good spec one by ten one by ten um gearing which i think a shimano might be shimano it's a pretty good spec bike overall but <laughs> the best part about this build has got to be like the fact that i've whacked a 48 volt battery on a 250 watt kit now this is a prototype kit and controller that I just um, got sent to test out and I pieced it together myself. I saw that the controller could take 48 volts so I've got this cheap and cheerful battery but it actually does a really good job. It was just an absolute nightmare to fit. The fact that this bike has no pedal assist and it does 31 miles an hour, 30, 31, it's just phenomenal and it's going to piss all the Karens off. And you can all bring your comments because I, I just find it hilarious. So what do you reckon then guys? The Karen Destroyer. I think that's what we should call it. It's got a lovely um, lovely LCC, LCD display. Overall, really nice bike. This bike's going to be up for sale. Check in the description. I've got a Facebook page. Steve Z Bike Southeast. You can find me on, find my page on Facebook. And um, yeah. <laughs> I've made it. An illegal, legal e-bike. 250 watts of sheer power. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that guys. That's it for today. Back again soon. I've got another two more builds on the go. All different specs. I'm trying out a few different experiments in power and stuff. So yeah, for today, that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not already. Shout us in the comments what you think about the 250 watt law on pedal assist. I personally think it's dangerous. On, like I said, as I said, cheap kits, you've got no control over power. If you're using a throttle, you've got exactly the same amount of power as you would on pedal assist, but you can tether it and just use a small amount of throttle, which in my opinion is way, way safer. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Speak to you next time. Take it easy. We've got um, 1x10 gearing, which is sick. Haven't got like all the mess of too many levers up on the uh, handlebars. Colour display, which looks sick. Got remote lockouts for the forks, which is another sick feature. I've put on some red, brand new red anodized grips, which match the brake calipers nicely. Overall, it's a sort of medium budget build which actually functions amazing.